Welcome back to the Lux Fly Rose Music. One thing I can say, positive thing I can say about it is it loads a lot bloody faster than they do remarks, I'm sure. <laughs> I can imagine the first two parts of this uh, next play are going to be hated or so disliked. Because, I mean, I've just been kind of like, uh, so far, I've just been like, failing miserably, which is not surprising, but also whining about the game. It's like, oh, I'm not enjoying it. So, yeah, I can imagine that. Oh, yeah, before loading, it's the next day, it's the second. It's like, it's just like I record so far in advance. But like, if I, you know, consistently... I mean, I, I probably won't be able to keep it consistently because I'll have to, like, do my regular recordings as well for my other Let's Plays. But I could probably get this Let's Play done in time for October. I'm just wondering what the second one is because I haven't fully decided just yet on what the second Let's Play to accompany it for the October special is going to be soon. I'll have to record for that in advance too, and it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but anyways, I did replay for it, it was worse the second time around, I got game over from the zombies, and then after that, I went through it again, took out the zombies, and the zombies you first encounter the first screen, I got this cutscene. What just happened? I, I thought they were dead. Riveting stuff. <laughs> That was completely essential to this, but yeah, I didn't get that cutscene the first time because I didn't defeat the zombies in the first uh, carriage that you encountered them in. So, Evil Zero. I saved before the point where, uh, you know, I went off to the uh, scorpion boss. Also, did look up, didn't like check the video or anything, but saw it titled. Like, from the descriptions of it, aim down, preferably use the knife to save ammunition, and when it retreats, just like, wait for it to attack, and then you retreat, come back, slash, and keep at it till it dies. So I'm gonna try that. I was also looking for the trophies, and I was like... Yeah, this does not look like a fun game to play. <laughs> I mean, I fought Hester Master. Like, when I saw the platinum, well, not the platinum, but all the trophies for it, I was like, there's no way I could feasibly get all that. And I still haven't. But now I'm like, it's possible. I've gotten a lot of the bullshit ones, like the knife only one I did last year, on very easy mode, but still, it's quite a pain in the ass, you know? I have the fights of the bosses with just a knife and all. And I've done the one for under five hours. Technically multiple times, because I've played through it multiple times now and gotten under five hours. But I just keep getting it just short of the three hour mark. Now beat me on hard mode, granted. On hard mode I did use the infinite handgun that I unlocked for beating him in under five hours a lot, so. It wasn't quite as legit, but hey, I could handle it. Ammo was pretty damn scarce, I noticed. It's like, you have to get used to dodging zombies, but in this game, the zombies are like, in really... Like, and there's a trophy for clearing the game out healing. How is that even possible in this game? I'm sure it is. I mean, I've seen people do... I mean, yeah. I've seen people do no damage around them on H2 Master. I was thinking, but that isn't too hard to do, and then it's like, oh, actually, that would be the challenge. I don't think about it. But zero deaths. I've, I've done that a few times now. Not about getting hits. Let's, you know, get on with the game. I took out one of the hellhounds, because they just get in the way like that. You just, you just can't win. Also, I've learned something most horrifying about this game. There are no 
toolboxes. Which explains why you can just drop shit on the floor wherever you want. Also realize that I should have looked at the controls. I looked at the control scheme. There's like one is like A, B, C, D, and I think E. And E is the only one that changes the triangle to anything else. And it's to change it to the map. It's like they really wanted the triangle button to do that. It's so like, oh yeah, extra mouse of triangle is basically this. Triangle in this game is this. That's really Am I I can't be alone in thinking that's really crap. Especially if you're bundled with a stream master, imagine that. And you buy the bundle. You play the first you play Hastry Master first. Or even this one first. It's gonna throw you off when you play the other game. It's like well triangle doesn't do that, but at least in, you know, Hastry Master, there's no button that will change you to a different character and be like, oh, it's really annoying when that happens. But yeah, I should really stop bitching and just, you know, get good. Ah, damn it, did it again. Really should switch it. At least opening the map would be a little less of a pain in the ass and switching bloody characters. And there's also going to be, uh, apparently, this whole, uh, you know, controlling two characters thing is probably going to be a real pain in the ass because I might lose ammo if I'm not careful. Which I already did in the previous part. I wasted all my ammo and I don't think most of my shots even hit the scorpion, which is ridiculous. I'm not gonna check that, there's no point just yet. I need out. Wait, I didn't even know. It. Wait, what? What is this even for? Select the icon. What does that even mean? Like, part of me is thinking, oh, maybe it's for like the items that we haven't picked up. But that's not the case because. Otherwise, who would be showing that red herb and the other thing I have to think of? That is strange. I mean, didn't the uh, manual thing point out what that is? And I, I, I've forgotten already what it was. I was more trying to focus on, you know, figuring out what button fires, you know, because the controls are different. Yeah, yeah. It's always some kind of giant creature, isn't it? I mean, I've not played the original on PS1. But did they also have the crazy, you know, shark section? Because I remember when I played that the first time, I was just like, Are you serious? Freaking sharks? The game starts off, you go into a mansion, and then suddenly, later on, you freaking encounter sharks. It's not something you'd expect to see. Just like they threw everything in the kitchen sink in that game. Wait, that looked different. Was that shotgun ammo? It was. And now I can't pick up anything else. Fantastic. Oh well. It's like, just ditch the ink ribbons, man. What if I need them? Well, I could have just come back, really, couldn't I? You know what? Uh. Uh. Yeah, just leave them on the floor. Hopefully, it's not like, uh. 
you know, they'll just despawn randomly. What's that? What? The ink ribbon's over here too? Oh, oh yeah, of course. How confusing. Let's see how miserably I fare on round two of the Scorpion boss. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of, uh, the door kind of blended into the background for some reason. Anything on the menu? I mean, I guess scorpions on the menu. Do people eat scorpions? If so, why? Wait. Oh, I thought <laughs> I thought I was gonna get lucky. It's like, no, only like if you go past there more than once, then the boss. Happens. Nah, we gotta do this. An L1 or R1 first. <laughs> uh, it's R1. Yeah. Okay. Disaster. Disaster. Yep. Okay. This is how do you dodge that. I don't really see a feasible way to do that. Uh, Jesus Christ! Uh, I'm still in this! Okay, I... Oh, God damn it, I pressed square the triangle because I was like... Oh, square is working. I bet it worked. Oh my god. Ah. It's not aiming down. I guess it's because I'm firing. Oh my god, this camera sucks. Okay, this isn't better. Just stay in the spot. Shoot! Ah! Now. So it is the same. Man. Your fat ass is in my way. Even when you're dead, you're in my way. Okay, now you. That doesn't make sense. You can walk through it only when it's dead. Like even as it's dying, it might it might swipe. You. What's this? That'll look better. Uh, that's probably that for that thing in the kitchen. Hopefully, assholes haven't spawned. You know, already trouble enough with just a hellhound. Which is an issue I must take care of because it's going to be in the way. Yeah, you bastard! Yeah, shit, you! Ow! Oh, fuck off. Oh. 
take four shots with a knife. You know, as I was like browsing people's thoughts online about this game, saw so, uh, the most adorable post. Oh, fuck off! I couldn't even prepare for that shit. They were right in front of me. The force camera angle really fucks you over. Get fucked. Anyways, saw so the most adorable image of uh, a little puppy biting someone's hand from the Resident Evil uh, Reddit. Because I was like, uh, originally just like, uh, looking to see what, you know, people's thoughts are generally on this game. And like I said, it seems very mixed. Some people love it, some people like it but see it as flawed. Some people don't like it and see it as flawed, and some people just outright hate it. <laughs> it's like somewhere in the middle, it seems. I'm using up all of these, but considering the fact that uh, we're probably not going to be coming back to the train after we clear this area, and we can't use toolboxes, I mean, I mean, it, I imagine it's going to be scars. I, you know, ammo and uh, healing items and stuff, but I, I don't care at this point in time. I probably will somewhere down the road, but right now, I don't. More preoccupied with not dying in the now, you know, as opposed to the later. Yeah, you just go over there. You know, the forced camber perspective is both like a blessing and a curse in these games. It's like it's cool because it's like adds the tension and it has this kind of cinematic kind of look to it. But then you can't see the zombie coming to mole off your face until it's too late. I might as well, uh this now it'd be funny if I leave the area as a billion it's like oh Rebecca has completely forgotten the map don't need to worry about that uh, controlling to chat thing anymore and that annoys me as well you know that one room in the Spencer mansion in history master with where you first see the crows and you go that bird cage. When you walk in and out of that area, the camera change keeps would always throw me off and I'd end up going back and forth multiple times. Okay. The devil has spawned. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong area. I just now realized. Wasn't that door, is it? Wait, no, it's not. It is that door. It's just I'm supposed to send. Yeah, I'm supposed to send maybe it up to her. I forgot. Can't unlock it from that side, unfortunately. Oh wait, I've got to interact with this. That's another weird thing. Sometimes you use it from your inventory. Other times you gotta interact with it first. Like that annoying uh, section in Ace Remaster towards the end where you've got to walk carefully with the thing in case it explodes. But then when you're interacting with it to actually, you know, set it up, it takes forever. It'll just be like, caution. And it's like, yeah, X button, X button, come on. Next bit of text. And then it's like 10 seconds later. Okay, now you can go on to the next part of the text. Like, what the hell was that? You may finally leave this place. Not that it's much better out there. You can't do anything automatically. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you can with keys, but other things, you gotta do it 
this old fashioned way. So I'm stuck. All right, Billy Boy. Follow me. Yeah. We are playing Abe's Odd World now, so follow me. I should. Oh. Oh, never mind. Take the stick out. Okay, now that you've wasted a fair bit of ammo, I see. How do I change the, uh... This? Okay. So, cooperate. You were cooperating by not following my orders. You just kind of did whatever you wanted to. Okay, keep idle for now. Thought it was gonna be like, oh yeah, idle means that he doesn't do anything. He stands there. What is this gonna be for? We are now out of space. We have a gas tank and some first aids. And combining green herbs didn't seem to do jack shit. It's like it came from the original. Well, H2 Master, I mean. Where it was like, you know, you could make some good healing with just two greens. But no, I guess they're putting an emphasis on the red for this one. I use red herbs. A gold ring. And now this is Resident Evil after all, so gotta examine stuff. See if I'm overlooking anything here. Finally crafted gold ring, that's overlooking nothing there. You've barely got any ammo left. Okay. And then they just get thrown off the train. Unlock the other doors. Ah, uh, what? Is this gonna be a thing where they can't go through doors together? Okay. It's called a door. You go through it. I mean, not through it. You don't like. You open it and then go through it. Go through the hole in the wall when the door is open. That's what how it works. Okay, that was the door that's locked. Where does it lead? Oh. So, it's still highlighted as red over there, but I'm going to assume that it's unlocked. Oh wait, I think I know what the ring's for now. Probably for that bag, isn't it? But didn't it say two? I only got one. Zombies! Conserve your ammunition and get over here. You better follow us.
Yeah, just ignore the passengers. We don't work here, we don't need to deal with their needs. Just ignore them. Damn wrangles, man. See if I can do anything with that bag. Probably not. Well, probably something, but probably won't complete it. Actually, it might. Maybe. Does it really need two things? Yes, there's two holes, but I imagine that ring will fit in both. Yep. Ah. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, no. Salmon. Will it open now? Oh, no. I was right. Need a second one. Well, that's just bloody typical. And I've only got one bullet left. Might as well pick this up, even though you're not really going to be able to do anything with it. Was it up there? That, yeah, up there is the thing. Yeah, shotguns, right? And these ribbons. You know what? Complete opposite of my playthrough later on, so the past week or so. Where I'd only used like one or two ink ribbons in the entire regular playthrough. It's like, you know, I don't want to have to go through all that crap again, so I might as well save again. Even though I've got significantly less ammo. The inventory system in this game does indeed suck, though. Because we've got nowhere to put this crap. You gotta be in the right spot to pick shit up, but I guess that's not gonna be all that different. You can't carry, you need two blocks. Who's who does who was in charge of designing the inventory system in this game? It's like the shotgun, everything is always just in one slot. But in the one game where there's no item boxes, let's make it so that this weapon takes up two slots. That's just bullshit. I don't think either character has any inventory left. Yeah. It's a bit shit. It's very shit, in fact. Hmm. How am I going to do this? I want to, you know, give the red herb to Rebecca so she can mix them. So I guess I'll have to drop something for now. Well, actually I should just drop this now that I think about it, because that's really all I need to drop. Drop this for now. And pick up the red. This is really awkward. Maybe I could have, you know, just switched it between characters in the menu. I don't know. And this way, at least, you can pick up all that. But you won't be able to get the shotgun because I don't think you're going to have enough room for that. Yeah, it's a bit of a pisser. Mm. I want to keep the ink ribbons on hand just in case, you know, but 
Oh boy. I don't know. I want that shotgun. I'll come back for it. If I can. I'll go. Okay. I'll go doesn't mean you're going solo, right? I think it does. Yeah. <laughs> they were already still grouped together, I just wasn't sure because I kept switching between them. Come on! Follow yep. me. Okay. Certainly be something if uh it had the uh, audio from Abe's Odd World, wouldn't it? Even include the farting greeting. That game is freaking weird. I've never actually beaten it, but I've played it back in the day. And a couple of years back as well. And then I looked at a uh, walkthrough. See someone playing for the whole game, saving all of the, whatever they're called. I was like, yeah, fuck that. <laughs> That's too difficult. I saved some of the harder ones, but then I was like, yeah, this game's gonna be way too hard, so I tried to complete like that. It's not an easy game to play. What am I doing? I meant to save in there. That was the whole point. Well, it's part of the point. And I don't think it's you that has the ribbons. Uh, oh, it's not in here, is it? It's in the yellow room. There's got to be some bullshit rolling off where it's like, oh yeah, you overlooked something in Gordon's. Because I get the impression I might have overlooked something in Gordon's. I might have to backtrack. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get past it till I get whatever's out of that damn case. Yeah. I assume the card is going to be in that case. Where have I not been? I don't think I was being on the. Wait, have I? Yeah, I have been on the roof of that one, right? Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've been on the top of the roof of that one. Have I? It's just that one room right there, it's got the door on there, but it's, it's slimed over. Oh wait. Brain is ticking. It says to me those blobs of eggy, slimy shit must be burned away. That's probably what the fuel tank thing is for, right? Pretty sure. At least my brain is actually working for once. 
it's usually it takes like seven freaking hours before I figure out what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. I think it's Rebecca that has it, yeah, right? I'm gonna have to go around, aren't I? Unless you're gonna be extra famous and be like, come by. Because uh, Billy's got the lighter, he should be on Gary. But that means more glorious, uh, you know, uh, changing, dropping, and changing who's holding what, you know? This is all so wonderful. Great. Great choice of design. Feels like a case of, you know, Pastry Master was, it had its flaws, but you see, it's more or less perfect for the most part. And then they changed it. That's what it feels like with some of these odd gameplay changes. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to give this to him. Wait, no, I just. I just now noticed the exchange option, although I wouldn't be able to exchange anything, probably, presumably, because Billy's inventory is full. So, Billy? Oh, never mind, he do doesn't have full inventory, he can pick it up. Wherever the hell it is, there it is. Or oh, I'd lost it to the uh, slimy abyss over here. Okay, can I, can I go hide? No. Well then, do I have to examine it first? It's filled with gasoline, yes, I know. If you don't want to use it. Okay, Rebecca, come over here a second. I'll go alone. Okay. Maybe it's because it's like, no, she's in the way. We'll all go up in flames. No, that ain't working. What the fuck? Is it not for this slime? Can you not ignite fly? No, flying slime? Well, what the hell am I supposed to do then? It's like the brain was ticking and then the brain is not ticking because that's apparently not what I do. Or if it is, it's in a different way. So I will have to adventure forth in search of something to burn. Get off my back. Oh, shit. They have that clear spot so you can dodge around them, but sometimes they're too close so you can't even get to that box. Oh, yeah, hello. Oh, uh, there's always a bloody zombie here, a bloody zombie there. And a zombie there too. Ah, damn it. Maybe there was something back there.
Oh, come on, now there's two of them! Yeah, there's a ladder back there. That's probably where I gotta go. Unfortunately, there's two zombies on fire who won't let me pass. I haven't got the ammo to deal with them or the health to endure. It's just shiny. Wait, no, oh, that definitely looks like something I can pick up. Never mind. Ladder here. Yes, climb. Slow walk, slow walk, slow. Oh, wait. Where's that gonna look? My partner thinks in that room I can't access, but at the same time, how would that make sense? Wait, isn't this just that same spot? It is, isn't it? Tell me I came all this way for nothing. It's like, I've not been here, not realizing it was actually the opposite side that I am. This is some serious BS. with that face. She has like a reptile look on it in her eyes. What's up with that? I'm kind of stumped. I don't think you'd be like fire at the eggs. I could try hitting them with the knife but I have to get old Billy back there. Guess I'll do for this part. See how it goes the next part. Probably get game over and have to start it all over again, but at least I defeated the skull. So there's that. See you next time, viewers. See you next time.